hi guys so yeah as you can see section three of my hogwarts kit that home craftology kindly gifted to me is done so i'm now 60 percent through as you can see we've gone from one boat to three and we have a very decent chunk of hogwarts castle i can't even begin to tell you how excited i am seeing all this come together it is so very sparkly and it's honestly just beautiful um i know a lot of people say to go smaller on your first diamond painting but i i genuinely don't feel like this is a big undertaking for me so maybe for me this is a small one i don't know but um you can you see some like ridges here they there's nothing wrong the drills aren't popping or anything as you can see it's just literally a bend it's like um a bit of a fold in the canvas so i've been weighing it it was a lot more prominent and i've just weighed it down with something heavy like books or something and um it is a lot better so at the end i will probably leave it weighed down like underneath something for a few days i know some people iron their canvases on from the back before using them but i didn't feel comfortable doing that because it's a it's a bit i'd be i'd be so like terrified if i damaged it so yeah i haven't had any problems um like i said like i said in my last video other than the air bubble that was in this first section that i had caused i haven't had any more um i've had bits that actually look like air bubbles where in fact they're just like um it's almost just like texture on the tape so it looks like one until you turn it and you move it in a different light um but yeah i'm really loving this and i, I can't i can't stop touching it because it just feels very tactile and i don't know I like the noise it makes too when you run your like nails on it. But yeah, it is so incredibly sparkly. I'm honestly so in love with it. So 60% has taken me about 64 and a half hours. Obviously, I stopped counting after the first section, and that was 21 and a half. So that would have been. 20 uh that have been 43 when i've done two and then yeah 64 and a half so when all said and done it should take me about 107 108 hours ish um i'm still using my pen from rich craft which i bought uh another one thing i have started doing is um when i do the roll in at the end of each section with my cricut brayer tool I have been actually flipping it over and rolling it from the back as well just because um, I've obviously only been doing it gently but I feel like if there's I've, I've found that where I'm doing the multi-placer sometimes the drill can be slightly raised because it's caught on the outer edge of another one so what I've been doing is I've noticed that on bits where I've done a lot of multi-placing like up here there was some in this big patch of navy blue so what i done was i flipped it over so the dot so the drills were flat on the table and then i rolled over the back gently and you could just hear them all popping into place so that's a good i think it's obviously because you're rolling it from the back gently the drills have nowhere to go because it's a solid table whereas if because the cricket brayer is like coated in silicone it's kind of got some like gift to it which is great because it's what you want because you don't want your diamonds to be damaged but at the same time finding if i do that very gently it is giving me a better outcome um i would say be careful if your ta if your table like mine uh splits into and extends i would say be very careful on where you do it because you could potentially end up creating air bubbles or something if you roll it in a weird way and do you know what I mean? So I would say be careful with that. Um, yeah, I I know a lot of people find squares difficult, but I haven't found a single problem with this at all. Like, I've been using my multiplayer, so I've done the checkerboard method. I've done the method where you do 
every other line and then fill it in if it's a big gap i've used i think I've, yeah i've got a single placer and a free placer on my pen and i've just been working through that and it's so relaxing i'm like i'm finding it incredibly mindful and it's something that you can't physically make quicker so like with sewing if i want to go a bit quicker i can turn my machine up but with this i'm literally just going at the pace i can physically go at and it's astounding how relaxing that that this is and i've actually i've had people come like friends and that who have said who've like watched me do it or been talking to me or have been doing it and they've said to me i want to have a go so i've now got i think two three people who have gone out and bought their own different kits to try because they just want something to sit and do in an evening or when they're finished from work just to wind down and like they're all these people aren't craft they don't do crafts at all so for them to see this and then go oh i want to do a craft that's just really cool to me i have actually let a few people have a go on this like place the odd one um yeah they're all none of them are having issues with it and it's just like kind of spurring them to do it but i love touching these i can't help it um but yeah it really is a craft for everyone like you don't have to be craft minded or anything to do it it's just you sit down you get your gems and the thing is everybody loves a bit of sparkle like everybody loves it and the thing i love about this is this is obviously a hogwarts one obviously for me this was a very magical part of the books and the film because it's the first time you see hogwarts it's you can imagine being in the boat and the anticipation and everything you can just it is a magical moment and having it in this sparkly canvas and this gorgeous it's just this gorgeous medium it just like brings it to life and it almost feels like when you move it like that it almost feels like, like the waves it is almost like the wave that it's actually moving and i genuinely do love this I think custom ones are going to be great. Obviously, this is my first one, so I haven't done a custom yet. I really would love to do a custom, so maybe I'll do that at some point. Um, but it's just when you're up close to it and you're seeing all these like little blocks it's kind of like pixel art so if you imagine when you zoom in on a picture you can't really make out what it all is you can see, so you can see what it is when you're up close but it's not until you step back that you really see it it's so clever how all the colors like mix to make a different shade it's just mind-blowing like this little bit here up close i can see all the different colors and i'm like oh, okay that's the, that's a light but when i'm looking at it like i am now on the laptop screen over there it actually looks like that light is glowing because of the way the colors are and like hogwarts just watching that come to life is amazing like all these little turrets and up close you just don't see it like you you know you can't know what's going to be there but you can't see it until you step back and that moment at the end of a session or when you get up to go for a drink or stretch your legs and you see it it's just that magical wow factor i am genuinely loving this craft it is honestly it is i can't even explain it for me this feels very achievable it doesn't matter if i'm having a day where i'm like at the moment i'm in a real craft slump i don't want to crochet i don't want to sew i'm knit i am knitting and there'll be some videos on that soon but you know for the most part i don't really want to do anything but then i'm bored and i want to do something so I'm kind of torn between wanting to do things and then not being able to do things because like mentally I'm just not in that right place but with this 
I don't, I don't have, feel like I have to be in the correct mind frame to do it. Um, which obviously helps massively. It means I can just literally sit and do it. And I'm so excited to get these two bits done because. With each bit I do, I'm getting more and more excited. Um, I am doing bottom and then top. At the moment, I am doing the bottom part and then flipping it around and doing the top part upside down. I don't find it difficult to read the symbols up. The, the, the symbols are so clear, it's not really an issue reading them upside down at all. Um, but yeah, so thanks for checking in, if you've got this far. <laughs> and... I'll be back when I've done section four and that'll be 80% done. Um, once again, I want to thank Home Craftology for this amazing kit and this opportunity to review for them. I really, I am blown away and it is a great canvas. Like I can't even, the canvas feels like good quality. I know fabrics and stuff and the canvas does feel great quality it doesn't feel like cheap and nasty like some like canvases can I obviously can't comment on the quality of the drills like from an expert's point of view but from a beginner I haven't had any problems with them none of them are popping um, obviously you get the old one that's got like an air bubble in it that you have to like put to one side and write it off as trash but for the most part it's just absolutely perfect it's for a beginner this is an absolute pleasure to work on I can't even I, I just can't find fault with it like this this has got me hooked on diamond painting and I think as a beginner that is all you can want like all you can want is a you know a project that's good enough to get you well and truly hooked on that craft I mean I like to try a new craft every year and this year I decided it was going to be diamond painting and you know we're two months in and the first one I've done and I'm absolutely hooked on it I can't, I can't even I, I want to do so many more I like my brain's going and I'm like yeah yeah we'll do that and that and that and that and that and so yeah I am so chuffed with this um, I want to thank the whole home craftology team once again you're going to get bored of me saying that, but I really am grateful for this opportunity because, you know, I'd, would I have done, would I have been able to do something of this magnitude for my first time? Um, I don't know. It's, it is, because it is the biggest size, it is quite a pricey kit for a beginner to fork out on. But at the same time, oh, knowing me, I wouldn't want to do a smaller one. I would be very against that because I do cross stitch. This is basically cross stitch with diamonds. So I know you need a decent size image to get that image. So you need a decent size. And so I don't know, I might have gone for a smaller one that's more affordable. Like, it's not that this isn't affordable, but it's you never done it if you never done it before and it's your first time and it's kind of like a big investment on something if you don't know you're going to enjoy it or if you're even going to want to finish it i suppose so yeah i'm i'm really grateful to them for giving me for gifting me this kit and giving me this opportunity because i wouldn't have done the i wouldn't have started with this size Otherwise, that's what I'm trying to get. At. <laughs> I'll get there in the end. But yeah, so I'm gonna go and work some more on this in the next few like days and weeks. And yeah, so we've got two sections left, and then a, com a video of the completed thing. Uh, I have. I'm still torn on ceiling. Like some people are saying, oh, if you're framing behind glass, don't worry about it. Others are saying always seal. If I sealed, I'd probably use the Deco Art Triple Thick Gloss or whatever it's called, um, because it's the only one that I found that doesn't 
go yellow or flake but somebody else suggested a puzzle glue i don't know enough about that to you know i need to do some more research into that before i decide if that's even an option but you know i i'll probably end up framing it behind glass and not worrying about the sealant because i would hate for this to get ruined just because i thought oh we yeah, let's seal it but we shall see but yeah so thank you for watching guys if you like the video hit the thumbs up uh, if you want to see more of these subscribe um any comments just you know drop them in the comment section below and yeah if you if there's anything you want to see from my channel in the future then just comment that as well because i'm you know i'm always open to new ideas and stuff so yeah thank you for watching guys